guys, what's up? It's Brogan and welcome back to my channel Brogantics. Today I'm trying a new video that I've never done before called Baking with Brogan. It is one of my favorite times of the year right now, fall, and I'm going to be making one of my favorite recipes for apple crisp. I love this recipe because it's pretty affordable to buy all of the ingredients. It's really quick and easy to make. I just realized that I actually don't own a single ingredient that I need to make this right now. So we're going to go run to the grocery store real quick, pick up everything I need, and come back and show you guys how to make this awesome, easy dish. Welcome back home. So here are all the ingredients you need to make this delicious apple crisp. I got all of the ingredients from the local grocery store for just $14 and that was everything. I didn't have a single thing that we needed. The recipe calls for 10 small apples, but I just got six jumbo size apples because I really like the honey crisp. I like how sweet and tasty they are, and they're usually like way bigger than the small apples that the recipe called for. So we'll see how many of these I end up actually using. And then just some baking butter, cinnamon, quick cooking oats. This is where it gets the crunch for the apple crispy crunch. Regular white sugar, light brown sugar, and flour. The items you need from your kitchen to actually cook with, you can use just a regular apple peeler and a knife to peel the apples, but I have this awesome machine. You guys will see in a second how it works, um, but it actually peels and cuts the apple all at once. I've had one of these since as long as I can remember growing up. We got this one at World Market for I think it was $9.99, so definitely worth it if you eat apples all the time like me. Just drop in a hint, go get yourself one of these because they're amazing. Just a cutting board, a knife and a whisk, measuring cups and then the smaller ones for the teaspoons, a big bowl and a small bowl, the actual pan that you're going to bake the ingredients in. And I went with a smaller size pan because there's only two of us, Matthias and I, and I didn't need to make like a giant size, but I have made this before for like potlucks or like bring your own dish kind of stuff and it is always a huge hit. So you can always make um, bigger or smaller quantities and adjust the recipe a little bit for what your occasion is. So the first step is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. So I went ahead and did that. And then while your oven's preheating, it literally will take about five minutes to do the rest of the recipe and then you pop it in the oven. First thing we're gonna do is peel and slice our apples. Like I said earlier, I have my machine that kind of does it for me and then I'm just gonna slice them down in half to make them half as big. The most important part about this is making sure that when you slice and cut the apples that most of them are equal in size so they cook at the same length if you have some small pieces and some big pieces they're not going to cook at the same speed so make sure that you do them nice and even The recipe did call for 10 small apples, but looking at the size of my big ol' apples, um, I think I'm only gonna need five. I bought six, but they're actually about two small apples is how giant these are. I think I'm gonna cut one more and then try and put them in the dish and see how it goes. So now that I have all of my apples sliced and peeled, I'm gonna show you guys a close-up shot of what exactly these look like in the machine so you understand. So you guys can see here that it's peeled and sliced all the way down and cored. So now I'm just going to take my knife and cut these in half, lay them out in the dish, and see if we have enough apples here to do the next step. I'm going to cut the apples in half so we have some nice slices that are even in size so they cook at the same rate. That is key for a successful apple crisp. Okay, now we're gonna take our pan and we're gonna lay them out. This is probably the like most beautiful crisp, beautiful apple crisp I've ever made because they're all so even. <laughs> so this is what mine looks like when it's done. They're all in there. This dish is a little tight for all these, but I think it should be okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and do our next step, which is adding all of the fun tastiness. Whisk together one tablespoon of flour one cup of white sugar, and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. After you mix together your sugar and all that good stuff, you're gonna come back to your pot. Now I have my apples kind of double layered, so what I'm gonna do is remove some of the top layer ones, so then I can put some cinnamon mixture on both layers, because I find if you don't do that, 
it just kind of all goes on top and the bottom doesn't get as much. So the next step is to take your water and pour it over the apples. It helps uh, the apples kind of get more moist and really take on that cinnamony taste. I use a quarter cup of water, but you can always add more if you want your apples to be a little bit more watery. So the next step is in a medium bowl, mix together two cups of brown sugar, the two cups quickening oats, and two cups of flour. Mix that together and then pour over the melted butter of one cup. The mixture should form medium chunks. And then you evenly spread that across the top of your apple mixture. Pop it in the oven to bake for 45 minutes until golden brown and that's it. Hey guys, I'm back. It's been about 45 minutes while this was cooking and it is so delicious. I let it cool off a little bit. It's deliciously crispy on top and ooey and gooey in the middle. I just scooped out a little sample so we're gonna taste it. The key is to get a little bit of the crunchy part with the apple. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. My baby's gonna be thickened tonight. That is so good. If you guys try the recipe, make sure you let me know how you thought it tasted or if I'm a freak and I like weird things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more Baking with Brogan videos, be sure to comment below with some suggestions on what you want to see. And please like, comment, subscribe so you don't miss all my new videos. See you next time.